the Lifetime Achievement Award winner is selected by the Retail Alliance staff, and, and we take that role very seriously. So one of the first things that we do is we make sure it checks all the boxes of the criteria, just you know, from the standpoint of the amount of years you've been in business and the impact that you've made and that you've been a stellar retailer. But with Pam, it was a little bit different for us this year. Um, this is a woman who was a force to be reckoned with. Many of us, we're interested in things, but do we act on them? Well, she acted on everything. She acted on acting. She acted on becoming a marathon runner. She acted on taking dance lessons. I mean, I mean, when she wants to do something, that's the impressive part, is she's actually one of those people that does it. I admire the way she literally bootstrapped herself and built her businesses and how many people she's enabled along the way um, in their own businesses and with the people that she mentors. And so it's just, it's just really, great attributes that I'm proud to say that I know her, frankly. Pam, I tell you, in all aspects of what makes me tick, what um, makes my heart sing, which is empowering girls and women to understand the value of a dollar and to not chase a dollar, but leverage a dollar so that we can build a better world Pam has been my sidekick for all of that. And for that, I tell you, um, I know I've done something right. If I'm able to attract the quality of a human being into my life as Pam. Pam is very passionate. She's very enthusiastic. And anything that she gets into, she is totally invested with. Uh, she has a big heart. And any undertaking that she takes on, she gives it 100%. Honestly, it wasn't just about her being a great retailer, but it was actually about the impact that she has made in so many lives. When I say a force to be reckoned with, I mean it. If this woman has something she wants to accomplish and do, get out of her way. It's going to happen. And with the Hope House, whether it was with Angela Reddix and mentoring these young women, working on the Retail Alliance Foundation, being on a board through the National Retail Federation, being an amazing businesswoman and an example to all, she just checked every single box. I think it's something that is part of your legacy. I mean, it's something that you, you know, you can show your children, your grandchildren, and I think, you know, they're very proud of, you know, what their parents did. They saw their parents work hard. Um, my grandchildren have been to my stores and they like walking around and looking at them and, um, and knowing, you know, what I do. And, and, and so I think that's really important too. And, and you know, mentoring and, and showing other people um, what can be done and how long you can stay in business or your success. I mean, I think there's so much that goes along with this honor. Her impact is by example. I mean, she's a great leader. Uh, she's a very creative thinker. She is a can-do person um, in every sense of the of word. Um, she's the first to say, that doesn't make sense, and she's also the first to say, I'll help. So um, I think her greatest impact is being Pam Katranja. <laughs>